Well, <laughs> cockle doodle doo. What do we have here? Look, I'm gonna I'm just put it the oven then. No need for an attitude, no need for an attitude. Just tell me, what are you here for? Fix my inconsistency. Cure your inconsistency. Oh, well, <laughs> must say, one of my more easier topics to deal with, huh? Look, look, <laughs> I don't want to be here just as much as you. I'm telling you that. Oh no, I want to be here. I want to be here. Don't worry about that too much. I, I want to be here. I don't know about you. Seriously. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What are you writing in that notebook of yours anyway? Let's, huh, let's see. No, huh? no need to look here. What are you writing, mm -hmm. huh? Mm -mm. huh? Don't do that now. Mm -mm. Well, <laughs> yeah. Mr. Name Who I Don't Know, who's sitting in my office for who knows what. <laughs> I have one solution for you, one very simple solution. Yep. Oh my god. Quit. Seriously. Just give up. Seriously. Yep. Wow. I am consistently inconsistent. Which means I am good at being inconsistent. Which makes me consistent at something. That something is being inconsistent. So you know what, maybe, just maybe, the cure to inconsistency is being consistent. No, 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 that's not it. The key to consistency is being inconsistent. Well, hey, welcome back to the Incube. Name's Ashish. I am becoming a filmmaker, also love traveling and that kind of good stuff. So if you're into the Incube, I am becoming a filmmaker and going on that journey with you guys. So I would greatly appreciate it if you smash subscribe down below. Turn on, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss another video here on the Incube. Today we are talking about the cure for consistency. How can I become more consistent about my kind of stuff? You know, I am very, very much stricken with the disease of inconsistency. When it comes to being consistent, there are three main things you have to think about, three key things you gotta think about. The cure for you is to understand yourself first of all. That's the first thing that I have for you. Before we even get to the things that are gonna help you be better at consistency, the first step is understanding yourself as a person. Understanding your strengths, your weaknesses, understanding what it means for you to be inconsistent, what it means for you to be consistent, and understanding where you fall short in different areas. I, for one, I can tell you, for example, I fall short in an area such like, if I am doing, if I'm doing videos like this, I really hate the whole process of brainstorming a video. So I fall short in that area. So because I don't brainstorm a lot of my videos, it means that I can't actually produce videos. So it makes me inconsistent with the fact that like I'm not making the necessary first step that's needed to brainstorm the video and make sure it comes out the way and make sure I've got a script and everything to come that it comes out the way it's supposed to come out. Without that kind of stuff, I wouldn't make a video. And if I don't make a video, I don't post anything. Hence, I become, in, I become inconsistent. Second thing when it comes to consistency is make a schedule. This one is pretty easy. You're gonna make a schedule, you're gonna put on Excel and you're gonna print it out and you're gonna be like, wow, I made a schedule. Great, you know, it's there. I made it, it's looking good. Now, how do I follow the schedule? <laughs> well, that's the thing. If you make a schedule around things that are gonna keep you busy, you're not gonna enjoy, you're not gonna want to follow it. But if you make a schedule around things that help you or encourage you to be more excited about the things you want to do then you will have an easier time following it so when i say make a schedule make a schedule around your free time not around the time you need to be working that way you can slot in the work you need to do to help you realize that okay if i do one two three four things i got so much free time to do anything i want so make a schedule with your free time first that's that's the best way i would put it you know put all the things you love doing first and then fill in the gaps with all the things you need to do or the things you don't really like doing that you kind of just gotta need to do and what you realize is that you have an equal amount of time of doing the things you love to do and doing the things that are really entertaining to you as well as doing the things that are really necessary for you to do like chores that kind of stuff that help you get to the next destination and essentially you'll be you'll be good as golden you get a stage where both worlds marry, interject. It's all become, gonna become one beautiful symphony. Symphony. Third and final point. My third point for you, if you wanna be consistent, is to not sweat it too much. This is gonna sound like one of those 
very general points, but if you go into specifics of not sweating it too much, the point that, that, that I'm trying to make here is that when it comes to consistency and that kind of stuff, you have to realize that it takes time to build consistency. It takes discipline, if you may, but it's gonna take a lot of mindset and perspective shifting. So when it comes to that kind of stuff, you have to get through the whole process and go through the journey of changing your mindset around the things that you wanna be more consistent about. When it comes to me, for example, for making videos, the whole of last year, I tried to be consistent of one video a week and I kinda made it, kinda didn't. But when, it, but when it came to this year, I was like, you know, I'm gonna do better than I did last year and say at least one video a week without overstretching to two videos a week. Because last year, my goal was for two videos a week, but this year, I'm like cutting it down by half and saying at least one video a week. Just push up one video a week and you will get better at, at being consistent. That way, you make it a habit and you make your workload easier. The best way to be consistent is to make your workload easier. That way you can be more consistent because the more work you give to yourself, the more pressure you put on yourself, the less consistent you naturally will be because you'll feel like you're always tiring out and burning out by the amount of pressure you're putting on yourself. So give yourself less work and do more in a, in a, in, and, do, and do more with that less work in a longer period of time than you would do less with a lot of work in a shorter period of time, the same period of time, sorry. So that kind of stuff, you know, make sure you section out your stuff and give yourself less work to do than you actually need to do. That way you'll become consistent much faster. It'll be better for you and better for your own happiness and for your own well-being. Otherwise, thank you for watching. My name's Ashish. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you wanna watch more content from me, you can watch on the side of the screen. If you wanna subscribe, subscribe right there. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something from it. And I hope you guys took our value. If you have any value that you take, please leave it in the comments down below. Tell me what you learned from the video. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. So, haha. <laughs> Until tomorrow, the N Cube.